tell you what, it's a funny, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you some of the inside story here, okay? Nobody knows. So, uh, Kurt Henning was the AWA world champion, and I was the uh, uh, Northwest heavyweight champion. And so, you know, we decided, you know, might draw a good house, put, um, you know, our champion, me, against Kurt Henning because he was one of the top stars in the country. So, and Kurt has been known around there. You know, he, he wrestled in uh, Portland, Oregon for Don Owens for years. And uh, when he started out as a younger guy and everything. So, he had a big name. And so, um, so he came to, to wrestle, you know, and he'd been traveling all around the country. In the meantime, uh, we got all of a sudden, um, we ended up getting a, a wrestling commission in Oregon, okay? And um, never forget it, you know, because Don Owens never had anybody tell him what to do. Uh, you know, he's like 80 years old and he ain't used to listen to nobody. And all of a sudden this guy comes in and sits down in Don's office after the matches on Saturday night and goes, hey, my name is uh, Bruce. I can't remember his last name, something. And he goes, uh, I'm your new wrestling commissioner. <laughs> and Don goes, what? He goes, I'm your new wrestling commissioner. You know, like, I'm not, I just came in from Texas, and they got, you know, you had to get license, and you had to have physicals and all that in uh, Texas to wrestle every night. But uh, but in, in Oregon, you didn't have to have all that. But now, all of a sudden, you know, this guy here is costing people money. Now, he, he's saying, I want everyone to go to uh, at, at be physical and make sure that they're able to wrestle. He had a list of, um, I mean, it must have been 75 pages of rules and regulations that, that we had to follow. Um, and then also he had to take an AIDS test. He had to take, and also drug and drug tests, right? And so here we go, <laughs> Kurt flies in and he's gonna wrestle. And now I, it's my job, I was the booker working for Don as a boss. I had to get everybody to make sure all the guys on the crew took their AIDS test, their drug test. And that's really, that's a lot of fun trying to get wrestlers past a drug test. Okay, <laughs> and so so Kurt comes in and he goes. I said, Kurt, you need to go down and get your, you know, UA and and get your AIDS. He said, What? I said, Well, you know, before this match tomorrow night. <laughs> he goes, Brother, I can't pass that. <laughs> I go, You got to be kidding, dude! It's the main event, and we had a heck of an advance. It was going to do a good house, and I go, What in the hell am I going to do? You know, and so sitting there trying to figure it out. And Kurt and uh, the Cuban assassin, right? Dave, they're good friends, okay? Dave Sierra. So he's there, and Dave, and they were all at my house now, and I'm, I'm, I'm doing TV. And I said, Kurt, you got to do something, man. He goes, I, I, you're in the main event. You know what we're going to So he goes, he goes down there, and he went with Dave, and he's, he's going to try to get Dave, say Dave was him, and get him to, so he went and they're sitting in the office, and he says, yeah, I'm here to take you, uh, UA. And the lady goes, Kurt Henning? So yes, it. And Dave said, yeah, that's me. And he, she goes, you're Kurt Henning? Of course, she was a wrestling fan. So she walks in the back. Here's these two big old wrestlers. They jump up and run out of the place because they're scared of our kids, right? They don't know what to do. They come back to my house and go, I don't know what the hell we're going to do, man. They almost busted us. <laughs> and so, so I sat and thought, we thought, and I go, you know what? Here's all we can do, man. I said, Kurt, you're going to have to go to the ring with a sling on and say you got your shoulder and arm busted, and you're going to say you're going to let Dave – was Top Gun, he wrestled as Top Gun. You know, it was like the number one contender, and so you're gonna let him, you're gonna hand the AWA belt to him and let him defend it for you. And you said at ringside managing. I said, that's all we can do. I mean, people don't bought tickets. <laughs> so I had to wrestle the Cuban assassin instead of Kurt for the AWA title. I, yeah, it's just, <laughs> anyway, it was just screwed up, man. But you know what? <laughs> we got by and people was all happy. So thank you, good Lord. But that's the way that went. <laughs> made it work. <laughs> yeah, it made it work. Yeah. Did you work with his father too, Larry? I never worked with Larry, no. I mean, I uh, see when I broke in, I think Larry was, he was bad on his way out. And he was up in, you know, in Minneapolis, which I never worked in Minneapolis. I worked a couple of shows, but I never worked full time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and, you know, so he, I don't think he was traveling anymore. So I never was on the road. I didn't see him on the road or nothing, you know, so. Yeah, I never, I never worked with Larry, but I worked with Kurt a lot. And he's good. Kurt was good, man. Yeah. One heck of an athlete, you know. So you could see it early on that, you know, he would go on to, to do. Oh, that. yeah, man. Kurt was, uh, he just had that persona about him. He, just, he had that character, you know, TV and, and, he, and he got bigger and he, he was really, really good in the ring. You know, he could do just about anything.